sexy but low on class It's when you're looking at me You're looking at trashy Hey y'all, welcome to How to Speak Southern, the very first episode with me, your host, Big Bat. Now, before we get started, let me just answer a few questions I get asked all the time. Is this all my real hair? Yes, it is. I don't wear a wig. I don't wear extensions. Everything you see is natural. Everything. Except for these big old eyelashes. Those are fake. Am I really from the South? Born and raised, honey, my whole life. Right there on the Georgia-Tennessee line. Am I a man in drag? No, I'm not. I am a biological female with a whole lot of hair. Finally, I get asked, will you marry me? No, I won't. I'm taking a break. I've already been married 11 times. I think I need to take Another thing about the South, if you're thinking about visiting or moving here, it's hot. It's so damn hot. Even when it ain't that hot, it's hot. Sometimes people will say things like, hot enough for you. <laughs> That's real damn irritating. I always want to go, well, no, I hadn't had a damn heat stroke yet, so evidently it's not. Southerners have a lot of ways of letting you know that it's hot in the South. It's hot as hell. It's hot as a mofo or it's hotter than 40 hells. That means it's actually hotter than if you had 40 versions of hell in front of you. And it kind of really is that hot in the South. Now, if you can't handle the heat, you don't need to be moving to the South because it'll kill you. Even if you're from the South, that damn heat, it'll kill you. Okay, let's get started. Here we go. First word, and almost everybody knows this word, is y'all. It means you all. How y'all doing? Good to see y'all. Y'all coming with us? But sometimes we use the word yuns. Yuns, y'all better quit. Yuns are so crazy. Yuns. Fixing. Fixing's really got two meanings. It means you're about to do something or you are preparing something. I'm fixing to whoop your ass if you don't back off of me. I'm in here fixing dinner. Why the hell did you eat half of that pound cake? Reckon. Reckon's got a lot of different meanings. It's kind of an all-purpose word. It can mean, do you want to? Do you agree with me? What do you think? I'll give you a few examples. Reckon we ought to go and make a beer run? Reckon we ought to go down to the Walmart, see what they got on sale? Reckon he's ever gonna act right. Reckon my hair looks okay. Well, she just looks like a tramp. Reckon? What you reckon? That means, what do you think? Reckon she'll ever get him to marry her? What you reckon? Riled up. Riled up means that you are angry. You're real pissed off. Okay? You're madder than a hornet. Madder than a wet hen. I'm telling you, he was riled up, honey. When, when his neighbor come over here and started telling him about how Ford was better than a Chevy, oh, oh, he was about to break red on him. He was riled up. Breaking red is when you're about to get in a fight with somebody and turn into a real redneck. Although with some people, you can't tell the difference if they're breaking red or if they are in a perpetual state of breaking red. Hair do. We don't say a hairstyle, it's hairdo. Ooh, I like your hairdo. <laughs> Fetching. Fetching can mean one of two things. It either means you're going to get something or that you are very attractive. For example, well, he was out there fetching that beer. I don't know what happened to him. I went and I was fetching some beer and I realized I left my wallet at home. He was out fetching us some beer when he ran into that tramp he used to date. Now if it's being used, to say that someone is attractive, then it might be used like this. Well, you're looking mighty fetching today. You want a highfalutin gal with a sense of style? Well, then don't bother looking my way. Cause when you look like I do, you can't help yourself. You wanna put it out there on D. 